All right, then. The casual visitor to campus is astonishingly impressed by two things, our location on the Pacific Coast and the inability to absorb any of that while you're in campus. So I wanted to <laughs> briefly sketch out how we got there. Here's an image from the 1860s showing a natural oak grove and the recognizable coastline. Later on, there was an asphalt mine <coughs> near the faculty club. And later on, uh, it became a an agricultural site uh, due to its windy location, the windrows were added on and providing a framework for the next incarnation as a Marine Corps air base where you see the buildings and what you don't see are the infrastructure underground, which really influenced the campus to where it came. Out of that, uh, I wanted to talk about the campus is less a collection of buildings than it is the spaces between the buildings. And this is a Roman idea. Uh, the American imprint is the University of Virginia there that you just saw. This is our very first campus plan, incorporating some of those Jeffersonian principles and some modern ones. What a beautiful plan this was. We didn't do that. We did two buildings out of that. We switched architects, and it became an insular uh, uh, arrangement of buildings. And subsequent, subsequent plans, as we go along here, you're going to see there are very few distinguishing ideas that were carried forward. Sometimes there were connections to Isla Vista. More times it was about the land uses as the university grow, or even this one as a political reaction to the riots where Isla Vista was finally incorporated. And it becomes a line drawing in black and white in the 80s and the 90s. There was some resuscitation of the open spaces and really just blobs for building. So as we move to our plan of 2025, we did some community workshops where people identified places that they liked and places that they didn't like. Very often they were the same. And out of that, <laughs> we sort of we uh, took this premise of wiping the table clean of one-story buildings and beginning to build back some of these uh, guiding principles of a paseo. Uh, and layering those on, here's another Roman idea of the Cardo and the Decumanus, which were the basis for all Roman town plannings. Uh, so preserving these open spaces, which connect you to the larger geography, and ending up with this plaid of spaces that will help you navigate around the, the campus, and backing off from those establishing building sites which would enable us to add an incredible 1.2 million square feet to the campus of already four and a half square feet, resulting in this plan. At least that is the plan. The important thing here is knowing where you are, that couldn't be right. That gong? Ah, I always. It's over them, thank you.